this is John's chopper. John's chopper implies class D computation to turn off the main thyristor T1. A charged capacitor C is switched by the auxiliary thyristor Ta in order to turn off the main thyristor T1. The saturable reactor core of Morgan's chopper is replaced with tapped auto transformer in this chopper which ensure reliable commutation hence eliminates the problem of commutation failure. This chopper works in two modes, mode 1 where the main thyristor T1 is filed at the time T equals to T1 and the load current flows through VDC plus to thyristor T1 to L1 to the motor back to VDC negative and also capacitor C discharges the current IC through C plus T1 L2 D back to C minus the capacitor C discharges through T1 L2 D back to VC due to the flow of capacitor current capacitor charges in reverse direction now the lower plate becomes positive and the upper plate becomes negative. Due to the presence of the diode D, capacitor retains the charge until the auxiliary thyristor Ta is triggered. Hence, from T2 to T3, voltage through the capacitor is constant and T1 continues to conduct. In this mode, the voltage across the thyristor T1 is equal to 0, the current across the thyristor T1 equals to I0 and freewheeling diode current equals to 0 and the current through the auxiliary thyristor equals to 0 and the voltage across the capacitor is shifted from VDC positive to VDC negative. You can observe the time periods of T1, T2 and T3 and the waveforms. Mode 2 at equals to T3 the auxiliary thyristor Ta is turned on by giving the gate signal. When this auxiliary thyristor is turned on, the current flow will be VDC plus through C to auxiliary thyristor to L1 to the motor back to VDC negative. And in the same time, the capacitor C discharges through C to Ta through the thyristor T1 and back to capacitor C. Now, positive and the negative since the polarities are reversed during the mode 1. Now the current will flow in anti-clockwise direction through T and T1. Due to the discharge of the capacitor C, a reverse voltage appears across the thyristor T1 between the times T3 and T4. Hence the thyristor T1 is turned off. Again the capacitor charges in reverse as the T1 is turned off due to which a reverse voltage across the auxiliary thyristor Ta at the time 5 which is after the turn off of main thyristor T1 and turns off the auxiliary thyristor Ta. As the load is inductive type it stores the energy when T1 and T2 are off and releases its stored energy through freewheeling diode DF which is connected across the load. Now the direction of the current will be from freewheeling diode to motor, motor to freewheeling diode. So the current direction is from motor to freewheeling diode DF to motor. At this time the voltage across the main thyristor will be equal to VDC. The current I T1 is equals to 0. The current through the freewheeling diode at this time increasing and the current through the auxiliary thyristor will be equals to the load current IL and the voltage across the capacitor VC will be decreasing and this cycle repeats when main thyristor is triggered. So this is how the Jones chopper works.